Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to uh, create a nice looking uh, news related blog using the Newsomatic plugin. This will generate you an auto blog which will post content for you automatically from different sources. So let's get started. I will present more uh, than one approach for this blog and you can select which one you like the most and which one fits your needs the most so let's get started this is my blog right now it's empty and not so good looking let's uh, start with the team the team is very important for your blog the team is the uh, first thing the users that uh, visit your blog will notice so select the team that fits the best uh, your uh, niche and your interest in blogging. So uh, for this tutorial I will use the newspaper team. Let's activate it. Activation takes a while. Newspaper team can be purchased from uh, Team Forest. This is the sales page for newspaper. It is $59 right now. And if we go to the blog, it already changed this uh, appearance. So uh, the plugin will work with any uh, team that you wish. So you can use any team for this. Any team will be accepted. So, uh, if you wish, you can configure further the newspaper team. The guys here have a detailed documentation on how to configure the, your, their team to uh, make the most of it. Uh, but let's see now how to use the plugin to generate content. First thing first, you need to get a news API API key. Click here to go to your news API account, copy here and paste it here. So using this you will use the news API API key. Okay, now we should head and generate some posts. We have two options here, latest news to posts this plugin section will uh, post only the latest news that uh, comes in news feeds. Uh, latest means the last 24 hours. If you wish to import also older articles or you have some uh, very specific keywords if for which you want to import articles, I recommend that you go directly to custom article search to post menu because this menu will import also older articles. But let's start here in the latest news to post. Uh, here we can select different news sources from where we wish to import content. And we, if we scroll down, we can also see that category based importing is possible. So if we have a sports site or a a business site or just any news site we can select any so let's say uh, this time we wish to create a sport related website uh, the first approach is to uh, import only the snippets of the post that is allowed to republish to for anyone for this, we can customize the content of the post if we click the settings button and go to generated post content. And here we can see these shortcodes. Item content will generate the content for the page. This means that the snippet of the item that is imported from a news API will be replaced by this and a read more button will be generated that will link back to the source article. Here are many more options uh, available but this time 
I will focus only on the main options that I wish to show you. So we can select also a country from where we wish to import the news. Let's leave this United States. Okay, uh, let's add a category. Let's say blogging. Just this is a random category I selected here. So uh, yeah, you can also auto add categories from title, but let's leave the standard category at blogging right here. Auto add tags from the title because post tags can be variated. Uh, if you want to manually define some tags, you can do it here. Let's say news. Enable comments. Okay, let's leave the rest as it is right now. Let's save settings to create the new rule. And check on our blog one more time. It's uh, empty. Now, Let's go and check. Let's run the rule now. If we don't run it now, it will automatically uh, start uh, by a schedule period. But let's be sure and run it now to see right now in this video what happens. It is importing content right now. If we go to our blog we will see that content started appearing. So, and it is already finished. Importing is finished. And as you can see, content imported. Let's see an example article. So it has a featured image, a small uh, description of the post and the read more button and if we click the read more button a new tab is uh, opened with the full article content okay now let's uh, check another approach on this blog creation this is the first approach that we only uh, create some snippets of the articles the image and the title now let's uh, delete all posts that we generated so far and check the second approach for this blogging i deleted all posts now let's uh let's say i want to import a tech related blog let's say i want to import from techcrunch and I want to get uh, full article content, not just snippets. For this, I have to check this checkbox. Try to get full article content. Check it and you will see that more options will appear for your uh, settings fields, in your settings fields. Uh, you can easily leave this all at their default values. Just save settings. Uh, let's import only five posts to make it faster and let's run the rule now to start importing content okay now let's check our blog and as you can see or the plugin already started importing content the images are displayed twice because they are uh, displayed also in the post content and also in the uh, featured image of the post. Okay, to prevent this, uh, we can uh, go to plugin settings. So let's go to uh, rule settings and uh, search for strip images. Check this checkbox and simply delete all posts and run this rule again to re-import the generated content. So content is importing. 
and let's check on our blog again and voila the post now only contains the featured image of the post and no additional image that should be duplicate of the featured image uh, normally another approach for this if you don't want to strip all images from post content is to make some settings in your team to not show the featured image for the post in the post listings and like this uh, you will show only the images found in the content but this is an alternative solution for the duplicate image is issue that is uh, sold from the uh, team settings okay so right now you will have a full article content for your posts and also a nice featured image so let's try to make this content unique because this is the uh, major concern in most of the auto blogs that the content is not unique in the first way that we can make this is to translate the content in another language if we wish to create a, a blog that is in another, in another language let's translate the blog let's say to german <clears throat> If our content is another language than English, then or our original content is another language than English, we must also select the original language from here. But if it is English, let's leave this at disabled and save settings. Now let's delete the old content, the English content, and let's just run the rule and let's see what happens. Uh, content is importing and translating automatically right now let's head back to our blog and let's see what happens okay let's check out uh, automatically generated blog as you can see it has also a read more which goes to the original english uh, link so this is a auto blog that google will see as unique because it is translated and does not have duplicate content okay another approach if you wish to keep the english uh, language of the blog is to go back and disable the automatic translation and go to plugin main settings this time here we'll find an option to spin text using word synonyms where you will have uh, more uh, options let's say i wish to use at uh, this time uh, the built-in method which is free you can also use uh, one of these free paid methods, the best spinner, word AI or spin rewriter. Let's use the built-in method right now. And check what happens if we delete old content and uh, run the importing again. Note that importing can be run manually or it will automatically run by a schedule as you set it here. So if you wish to generate articles every one hour, you should set this to one. In this uh, configuration, it will generate five articles every 24 hours, but you can set multiple importing uh, rules that will also run at this schedule. So let's head back to our blog. Uh, sorry, I misspelled this. Once again, okay. I got back to the blog. So let's check on the first article that pops up. Uh, 
let's click on read more the company announced the corporate presented uh, you will notice that uh, using this method content may not be perfect uh, but it will be shortly unique in website crawlers eyes if you wish to use a method that generates high quality content uh, you should uh, get one of these uh, premium services they are all high quality and will generate uh, unique content for you you can get a new account using these links okay so uh, let's continue our presentation of uh, articles uh, let's assume that this time i wish to create a blog that uh, imports content by a keyword so let's go to settings and we can go to the search query string settings field where we can define uh, a keyword from which uh, we should import content from let's set this to Facebook if we want to get uh, articles only about Facebook so let's save settings and go ahead and run importing again let's check our blog let's go back to the main page and as you can see the facebook related article is generated okay uh, so if we want to get um, multiple content not only uh, news from today uh, the plugin generated only one article because it got content only from today so if we want to get also older articles we go to custom article search and also configure the same rule here same search query Facebook save settings I haven't uh, configured the categories and tags for this but no problem let's run importing and we can check our blog as you can see there are many more content right now about Facebook and content is pouring in as we refresh the page okay so these are the main options uh, if for using the plugin also there are some other possibilities to uh, get use of this new Zomatic plugin but these are the main features of it uh, also the plugin has a bunch more a lot more content to share but uh, I will cover these details in a upcoming video okay so this being said until next time uh create nice automatic blogs and remember use a nice team and configure it to look nice this will help you uh, rank your content higher and use the unique content generator methods that i demonstrated in this video and don't forget team is important so this is all until next time bye bye